Well, hello, hello, and welcome to CoffeeCraft with Anon Jr. Here on the CoffeeCraft server, you see all sorts of fun stuff behind us. We've got Reyes here today as well. Say hello. Hello. And as you can see behind me, we've gotten a little bit done in the week between last go around and this one. We've got four of the rail stations that we're going to use to uh, get our elevated train system. So, much like uh, Chicago, we're going to have an L, and that'll get us from base to base and a few other places in between. Um, the design is one that Iskal used on the Hermitcraft server. It was originally put together by a YouTuber who goes by the name of Cobblestone and Dirt. I will put his the link to his tutorial um, in the video description on our on YouTube but uh, I also left myself a nice little access hatch down here so we can actually see a little bit of what's going on if I could get down there we go All right. this is actually a simplified version of the one that Iskal built like Iskal built it and cobblestone and dirt went and looked at what was uh, put together and said, yeah, you know what, let me, let me see if I can find a better way to do that. So that's what we have here. Uh, each of the three buttons is color coded, so we've got the right turn over here in red, the straightaway over here in green, and the uh, left hand turn, sorry, I had to think about that one, the left hand turn over here in the light gray. And uh, yeah, he goes through really simple step by step. And so we now have a bunch of these stations. So we've got this station here. Um, ever asked? Yeah. yeah. I know you're using Arcadius's mic, but could you turn the gain down just a little bit? Because I'm actually hearing myself through your mic on occasion. How's that? We'll find out in a second. <laughs> um. So the basic idea is that you roll up in your cart, you'll stop here because these rails are unpowered, you'll hit the birch button to go straight, you'll hit the dark oak button to go right, and you'll hit the jungle wood button to go left. Now it doesn't matter which type of button you use for whatever direction, just so long as they are wooden buttons. Because wooden buttons have a longer pulse length than stone buttons. So you do need, it does need to be a wooden button. It just, it doesn't matter what kind. Use whatever colors you like. Use the same one for all of them or different ones for everyone, whichever you prefer. I've got some signs down around each of them in the hopes that we kind of get some rudimentary planning. Like I'm pretty sure that this was going to be the way to Arcadius's station. Although it sounds like that might change. Um, the straightaway should go to my base, which we'll fly to next. And then to the left, I have no idea what he's going to do. Uh, some of this is stuff that he hasn't figured out himself. So uh, we'll see. This is the design that we have going for all of them. So nice lighting, half slabs, and all sorts of good fun stuff. And if we can uh, fly up this way. Oh no. Flying. I'm not good at this game. And then back this way, you'll see, <laughs> did a little landscaping. Um, there used to be a hill over there. It's no more because I needed a little more space for this and a couple other projects that I want to eventually put up on this plateau. So I need to make it a little more plateau-like. I did take some of the stone and try my hand at a little more landscaping over here. I'm going to come back through later with some andersite stairs and slabs and a little bit of cobblestone stairs and slabs and um, see if I can't give it a little more variation and dress it up a little bit more. Um, but at the end of the day, we got the same basic layout, same basic design, same basic wiring underneath. And I, I'm definitely going to set it up so that way that left lane where Reyes is standing will go to Arcadius's base. 
The one in front of me is going to go over to a desert temple that I found way back at the beginning before we started broadcasting and recording. And uh, I'm going to turn that into an off-site base, a beach home, if you will. And uh, the rail to the right is going to go to the hub. And this is where I'm going to put my on-off station soon as we settle on a design. And instead of going to the hub next, we are going to go to the one that we built for rest. Hmm. What doesn't look like it belongs in the rest of the build? It's time. I did ask Reyes before I built it uh, what she wanted to do with... Uh, if she wanted me to make it black and gray like the rest of her stuff over here or the exact same design as the rest of them. And see, that guy down there is going to be the central hub. Um, and Rhea said that she wanted one that looks just like all the other stations. I put the signs down, but I haven't the foggiest beyond uh, the community center is either going to be to the left or straight or maybe back, I don't know. That's one of the things we're going to try to fix today. Let's float on down to the hub. Although somebody should probably take a nap. Ooh. Come here, Sticky Pistons. Don't let them eat me. <laughs> kidding me. Okay, there we go. Was that the only slime? So. Because, uh, yeah, I've been making a few sticky pistons for other projects and having those guys would help. And yes, as you can tell, I am using the latest pre-release of Optifine for 1.14.2. And we'll see how that goes. So this was the prototype station. When the rails come in, that part works fine. That's pretty well settled. You'll, you'll come down the track. And this activator, or uh, this one, will power this, which will kick you off here. And the cart will hit the cactus and fall into the hopper, bringing it over to the dispenser up here. Uh, the part that I'm not too settled on is the way the dispenser works. If you don't catch that rail, it leaves without you. I mean, granted, it stops right there, but still, it's kind of the principle of the thing. So, that is one of the things that we do need to work out is... <laughs> What are you trying to do? Get out. Shift. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Just push it. Walk into it. Push. <laughs> <laughs> um... And I think I've got these signs right as far as where we want to go. Uh, I will see if Rayest agrees, because this seemed to be the most sense. No, oh, that makes sense. Okay. So now, the question is, do we build the on-off system that we got going right here for now? Or do I keep working on another one and we just kind of leave a placeholder here be the on-off and uh, we spend the rest of the day working on connecting the stuff up. The stations do you no good if you don't have the rail to go between. Does it need all of this stuff that I'm standing on? It needs most of it. Um, actually, a lot of it is just to keep the cart from popping off anywhere other than where we want it when it hits the cactus. So, like... This whole half that I'm standing on doesn't need to be there, but since you're a fan of symmetry... 
Okay, but this one doesn't need to be here, right? Correct. Or this one? The one on the ground, no. Uh, okay. I put it there because I moved a bunch of grass blocks for stuff. And I just didn't feel like going back to my base and picking up some grass blocks to fill in the gaps. Um, I think this is fine. All right. Uh, let's build the rail itself to start with. And then if I can't come up with anything better between now and the next stream, I'll build these wherever we designate the exits on each station. You know what we need for this? What? Rails. Uh, I've got a box of rails. Fine then. All right, how much rail versus power rail versus all that stuff ratio do we need? That is a beautiful question. I don't know. How does one figure such a thing out? Well, we figure out which rail we want to build first, and then we start placing it down and go, Huh, this rail is too fast. This rail is too slow. This rail is just right. Or you do um, like Arcadius is doing in the nether and just use a whole bunch of powered rail for everything. Um, I wouldn't recommend that. Matter of fact, that reminds me, I do need to check on my supply of powered rail because I believe he pillaged my rail box for that project. How about we do the straightest point between A and B? Okay, so between here and Arcadius's? Because there is going to be a right-hand turn somewhere along this way. Yep. Okay. Um, here's the other question. Where on his are we going to try to connect it up? So we're going to go... Oh, not into the tree. Are we going to try to bring it in to the side that I originally thought was going to be the exit? Or are we going to try to bring it into the side that I originally anticipated it coming in from? Hmm. If it goes this way, you're not really going to get to see the lighthouse. And I thought that was part of the objective. That's what we agreed on a previous stream. But if we go slightly circuitously and maybe make a left hand here and follow this ridge. Okay. And then a right turn here-ish. Um. We could get to here and go in this way. This is actually about the midpoint. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I guess we could go here. I just hate that the whole point is to see his base, and you can't really yeah. see his base. Uh, he did tell me that he was planning on taking a line off from there going down under the water and into his base underwater. Why don't we just make that where the station is then? Because he wanted the station up here. Okay, so the one to your base or my base? <laughs> Alright, uh... <laughs> Ooh! Tree! Watch out for that tree. Yours is going to be the shortest one. It is also going to be one. one of the harder ones to figure out. Because that's Oops. a lot of climbing. We have scaffolds. No, I was referring more to trying to figure out how much power rail to throw in to boost you up the incline. Now we got this. Okay. Alright, let's set up a 
Alright, I need that there. Oh, that there. Just remember to use the stone cutter when you're making slabs and stairs. You'll get better efficiency out of it. For want of a better word. What? Yeah, it's a little bit. It'll be enough to start. Prismarine. Right, so how are we coming out of this thing? Uh, which thing and what do you mean? Like, badoop? Um... Alright, do we want to climb up and then make a sharp right? Or we do we want to try to go up and right and up and right in stages? It probably makes more sense to go out and then up. What do you think? Uh, we're definitely going to have to go up as we go out anyway. Just because of the distance that we got to travel up. Okay. So... How fast do we want to go? How high? That would be the question. Paul is this thing. Three, four, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve. Funny. Fish. Lot. Okay, yeah, six. Hello, hello, Dom Duck. D Duck. Dom D Duck? Yes. Sorry about that. I forgot that chat was sitting in the corner there. Alright, that is perfectly even with the height of our pedestals. Of the mountains? No, our little, um, our rail station pedestal. These guys. How high they are off the ground. Ah, okay. Uh, because you said pedestal and I was thinking... Like, those guys over there, or some nope. other structure. Yes. Okay. No, uh, we are actually going to need that center column. Why for? So we can attach the levers and power the blocks and hide the levers. Yeah. I mean, unless you want levers sticking out on your rail line. No, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you were going to do that or if you wanted to throw stairs to give it a little less ragged look. Uh, I was going to wait and see how the buttons end up looking and that'll dictate what I need to cover and how much okay. space I need to cover. So we can do the structural first and then we'll figure it out from there. Okay. 
All right, so let me figure it out. Right. Grab a couple of those and a couple of those. work in water. Uh, what works in water? Scaffolding. Could work like a regular block. So can you set it on the water? Whoops. Not on top of the water. But you can build a column up from the floor of the water. You can only extend scaffolding out so far before you need another support pillar. It is one of yeah, the this is awesome. downsides to scaffolding. Yeah, but look at this. I have to get down to put that support network back up. Yeah. That's kind of awesome. I, I kind of like what Azuma did, though. What? He put a stone block under the last bit of scaffolding and then attached the scaffolding to the stone block. That's genius. So he didn't have to drop another pillar. Of course, he's also working on a skyscraper, so, you know. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That, that would require some work. Okay, so how much does that power? Like, how far will you go? Um, don't worry about the power. Let's worry about getting the rail, because we can always throw more power at the problem if, if we need to. Let's figure okay. out the incline and direction. Because I'm worried that if you plateau here and then try to climb, you might not have enough room to get that kind of height. I'm just trying to figure out how many we need in between to do some power. Uh, you can power on the incline. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't have to be straight to be powered. I mean, a little bit of a straight does give us a chance to drop a pillar like we planned on sooner or later anyway, but um, again, I am worried about elevation. thinking about it, let me go make a bunch of levers, because we're going to need them anyway. We may need one or two. Yeah. build the scaffolding up again? Uh, from underneath, unfortunately. I, I, There's probably a way to do it from on top. I'm just not entirely sure what it is. Unless you want to jump place it. Nope, that didn't do anything.
What? <laughs> Nothing. All right. For ease of access, I'm going to put some of the levers up on top. We can move it to the underneath where it's easier to hide them later. You know, the nice thing is, you don't need but power rail going down. That didn't sound good. good. It was pretty bad. You know, you have this thing called an elytra. Yeah, I stink at that thing. Also, I think it's like half broken. I need to figure out how to fix that. You go to one of the mob farms, because you should have mending on it. If it's one of the ones that one of us gave you. Yeah, pretty sure it is. I mean, I also have that sad one that I picked up that one time I died a bunch. Oh, yeah. Oh, I died a few times building your uh, station on the roof. Because I saw pillager raids coming in over by your farm, and one of them looked weaker than it was. <laughs> I figured, cool, easy crossbow. I dropped in, sort of swinging, ready to tank it out, and that proved to be a mistake. That proved to be a big mistake. There's marine bricks. All right, hang on. Double check me on my count on these, right? Oh, no, I wasn't. Do that. Uh, what am I trying to double check? Six up, seven across. Six up, seven across? Okay. Uh, I don't know. It looks an awful lot like nighttime. I'm feeling kind of sleepy. There we go. Are we going? Oh, because we're counting from the ground. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nope. Three. Because this is still inside the base, so this is one. One. Two. Two. Three. three. Look at the side of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's true. And then one. One, two, six. three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Oh, apparently we're doing six and six. Because apparently I didn't do seven on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, because that's a uh, brick. This is the top brick. Oh, okay. So you're counting six Bricks up. Six brick. One, two, and then three, seven four, slabs. Five, six slabs across, and then one, two, five, six <laughs> bricks up, and one, two, three, four, five, six slabs, and then one, two, three, five, six bricks up, and then six slabs. What am I doing? I'm doing three more. Yeah. Two, three. 
One, two, one, two, three. All right, yeah, let me try three of those there. Since the power will go that far, I might as well. One, two, three. I start back at the base there. Yeah, start back at the base there. Any more subs? Not on me. Um, how are you on the regular Prismarine? Prismarine bricks? Yep. yep. I have 64 plus 56. Okay, so do you want me to bring you up another a couple of stacks of those? Yeah, that'd be fair. Okay. Of course. I don't know why I don't just bring all of that up. Um, that didn't sound good. That is satisfying to watch. They don't float in the water. Oh, they do, just slowly. Yeah, eventually. They all float here. Bamboo, you think it float faster? Uh, it floats at the same rate as every other item. Before I keep building this, or laying down a rail, which, while I'm here, I mean, just bring the box of railing with me too. And the slabs. Yeah. Oh! Well, what? that's faster than I expected. Oh. of prismarine and the stone cutter to make slabs. Is that a hint? Uh, not a hint. Just an observation. Hints are subtle. Or so I've been told. middle of like so it's lined up correctly um
Uh, looking, there we go. Looking at blood. All right. When you press F3, and you're looking at the uh, X, Y, Z. Okay. You want Z at 57 in the middle of your path. So between the two rails okay. should be 57. I'm only at 54. Are you sure? It looks like I've overshot. Nope. I just checked. one there. I can cut back in the middle, but that's going to cut back on power. Because that was, that went a lot faster than I was expecting. As I put the same thing down that I just started. backwards what do you mean start building from the top yeah but that's way harder that is way harder um <laughs> <laughs> that that looked almost bad it was. It was almost really bad. Yeah. That, that looked really bad. somewhere. Oh, there's a couple of them over there, too. Would I put a... Why? Uh, so you get an easy source of milk for when the pillagers come? 
they're not going to come. You keep saying that. Although now that you've said that, I'm kind of surprised. I would have expected a uh, raid to have come through here before now. Not a raid, but a patrol. Because so far, they, they seem to either be coming from over by my lake or over along your river here. Are we not building up there? We are, but I dropped some stuff. Also, the mic didn't pick you up on that last bit. But it's probably best for Arcadius that it didn't. Hey, um, behind you. Huh? Oh, you got my stuffs? Thank you. Yeah. Is that all of it? There was only the three up there? I don't know. I'd gotten some too, so... There's a little bit that fell. Are you going to build some pillars on this thing at some point? or? Yes, yes. Yeah. but I want to get it set up first. Okay. Uh, so what are you thinking? A pillar underneath the center of each landing? I don't know if I can do that based on the way I build it. I, might, I think I need to go out one more on each, which means maybe we got the structure up before we did the rails. Ah, it's easy enough to put back down. Besides, uh, so our um, our pillars are three blocks wide. Yeah, but it's going to be off-center then, and me. So, well, maybe not. Hold on. Let me see. When I do these, what if I did... If you did that... There's one block off for the support and two blocks that way. One block for the support, two blocks off that way. It would look okay. No. No? No. No. It needs to go one higher. One higher? Well, one longer. So that there's an odd number of slabs in between. I originally meant to do seven for that purpose, but then I realized I miscounted. Okay. Yeah, so I need to be odd. One, two. You are odd. Odd numbers. We'll start uh, tearing up the railing. Yep. Here, you need this. Need what? I already tore those ones up accidentally. Oh. oh. Okay. And if you'll start ahead of me so that I can, or like in this plane. Oh, I was actually going to start at the top and make my way back. Yeah, but then I can't be making while you're doing that. I guess I can get the middle row, right? It fell. You fell or it fell? It fell. Yeah, I'll pick all that up in a minute. Ah! I fell. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll pick it up right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah, I just dropped it on the ground. Um, where'd it go? I put it on the ground for five. Ground on the you? thingies. Yeah, I made it here. Whoops. What's with the whoops? Got the best way to do this. That needs to be gone anyway. Efficiency pickaxes are fun until they go through more than what you intend. Which is how I ended up in the river in the first place. Well, at least we're working over water. That does help. 
Actually, because the way my tower is built and because we're going to the middle. You could totally say it was intentional and nobody would think otherwise. Yeah, no, it was luck. <laughs> I am not a master at parkour yet. Yeah, besides building all that rail told me what I needed to know about as far as powering it. That it was going too fast? Well, the incline, I'm okay with it going uh, faster. I mean, we can slow it down if we need to. That's not hard. But I also know what is at least enough to get us to where we're going. Yeah, I'm looking at that rabbit over there and wondering if I ought to set up a uh, rabbit farm like I did on the last server. Why for? Well, that's how you get rabbit's feet for potions. And leather in a pinch if you need it, but that's not really been a problem. And rabbit's meat for rabbit stew. But stews don't stack, so I never use them as food. That's not entirely true. I used a lot of mushroom stew early, early on because there were a lot of mushrooms around where I started. Got a second, would you mind going down there and picking up the stuff I'm dropping? Yeah, I just finished coming back on. from the rail. And... I've also been periodically grabbing the ink sacks from when the, uh... Squid just kind of beach themselves. Awesome. So what are you going to do? Get to the height that you need and then cut across? Yep. Seven. Uh, which means all of that ahead of us can go because I'm already hitting an incline higher and faster than it. Oh, okay. Not quite sure how, but... That wasn't intentional. Uh, yeah, of course it was. Um... Don't you know? Yeah, I looked at a couple of different rail designs, and there are actually some pretty efficient ways to do the rail and the stations where there's only one rail going in any direction. Um, but as much as a lot of people like to downplay the single rail design, or as much as people like to promote the single rail design because of how resource efficient it is, I would also contend that they've never run into somebody going the other way down the rail. <laughs> that would so happen in our life. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, granted, there's only three of us, but I could easily see... Us all working on a particular project and... Oh, meet me at the hub. Okay. Oops. Alright, I'm not going to bunch more stuff down. Okay. I was working on knocking that down, but uh... I ran into it though. I also 
knew that sleeping would be important. If only I could sleep that well in real life. Isn't there some on one of these trees? Not that I can see so far. Too much rocket. Yeah. But yeah. I found it. <sighs> Bloody oath. Is jumping about as well as my D and D character. Roll it two again. Yeah, pretty much. At least I've got feather falling on the boots. <laughs> that's about the only thing that's been saving me. So it sounds worse than it is. Of course, I love that we added the uh, classic damage sound. Yeah, I'm hearing it a lot more than I thought I was going to. Yeah. So do you want to keep it or do you want to take it back off? No, I'm down with that. I'm just hearing it more than I thought I was going to. <laughs> well, you're also building up there. That, uh... That might be... That might be a factor. Nah? Nah. Nah. Nothing to do with it. Where's the, uh, oh, does that one also need to go, or is that at the height you need it? That's at the height I need it. Oh, this one? Yes, that's gotta go. Well, that one better. <coughs> oh. I never realized we had a cave there. Okay, where? Over by the trees here. Oh. I see something hiding in there, too. Six. No! What? Bricks hate me. And almost died. Let me go light the cave up real quick. Oh, 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 you're not dead yet. This is, uh, not a small cave. Oh.
like what building this whole thing felt like. Uh, I only caught the latter half of that. You have no idea how much this feels like what building that whole tower felt like. Very <laughs> precariously sitting on an edge. <laughs> oh. This cave goes into the desert behind your place. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll we'll have to do something with that. I got part of it lit up. I'll have to go back through and do that later. And try to finish that up. I really do need to go on a digging expedition or a caving run. Because I am running low on a number of resources. Like redstone. Arcadius insists that he has a ton of redstone. Somewhere. Are you tearing this down as you go? some stairs and slabs that I've been picking up and uh, try to fill in some of that missing bloody oath. Not some of the missing bloody oath. No. <laughs> Expecting to fall off that, but okay. Um, what was my block supposed to be at? The number? 57, and I think I'm at 59. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate, why? Because it's three too short. Oh. And we're on the inclined portion of this game. sure in a block world how do we do this what do you mean hey you're not gonna make a 90 degree turn I am okay This block is at 58. The middle of the one before it is 
at 57 point something. Oh, don't go, don't go by the decimal number. Uh, okay. Right below that is the block. Okay. Did that just make things easier? Maybe. How much redstone is going to be at this juncture? What do you mean? How much redstone am I going to have to be hiding? Because if so, I'm going to use bigger, bulkier blocks for the corner. Are you talking about for the on-off station or? No. no, at where we turn, the turning corner. None. Too little. Like I might need to throw hide a switch somewhere to power the block, but nothing, nothing much, nothing complicated. So if I just do like regular blocks and you can put a thing under it and that'll call it done? Probably. I just dropped a bunch more blocks. Well, why'd you do that? Uh, because I wasn't going to fall after them. <laughs> why not? You got an electric. Do I need to make up some potions of slow falling and... You're thinking way too hard about that. Be. Uh, totally falling is the, the easiest part of the game. I can fall with no trouble whatsoever. Falling not badly. Oh. Well, that's something entirely different. to thoughts from that last platform leg that I got going there. Mm -hmm. Did I go straight out from there for a little bit or just immediately start going into steps? Um, going to depend. We are going to need a little bit of room to turn. Particularly... Right here. Go doop. Well, turning the inside is going to be easy. Um, let, oh. Let's let's finish filling this in, get the rails down, and make sure we can make the turn in the space we got. Because uh, you see the concern, right? I do. Sometimes that happens. Focused quiet. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to fall. I keep doing that. Yeah, no. You know I, I'm torn I between. I, I, I am. I am very torn between the desire to chat and the desire to not fall to my demise. I just want to say, do you have any idea how many times I died making that castle, or when I turned the castle, or when I tore down the castle to turn the <laughs> castle? 
Uh, should actually be in your settings, I think. Seriously? Um, so not achievements. Uh, when you hit escape, there's a statistics. Okay. And... Let's see, I've interacted with a beacon zero times. Uh, bat, blaze, cave spider, chicken, cod, cat... Wait. You have never been killed by a cod. Who has been killed by a cod? Why would that be in there? I... Never mind. Anyway. Gas, guardian, husk, magma, cube, fish. Uh... Ooh, ask how many items I've enchanted. <laughs> how many? Zero. Zero? Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, pay no attention to the two wandering traders that have been killed. <laughs> Uh, hmm. I thought there was a count to how many times you died by falling. Damage block, cauldrons filled, no blocks tuned. Oh, <laughs> from the AFK Fisher. Uh, ender chest raids since last death. Sneak distance. Da, 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 da. Derp, derp, derp. I'll have to go back and take a look. Uh, oh, wait, no. Damage taken, damage dealt. That no, just gives me number of deaths. 41, in case you're wondering. How far down is that? Way down near the bottom. And hello to the. Whomever happened to join us on Twitch, we Distance are working... fallen? Oh, might that be it? Uh, well, the distance that I've fallen is 8.9 kilometers. Oh, that's it. That's the distance. That's not how many times I've died. That's how far I fell when I did. <laughs> we are building the elevated rail line that we're going to connect up all the different bases with. We got our little model over there by the community center. We got a section where we decided we're going to run at least one line. Uh, since we don't know where it's going to connect at the station down the other end, we decided to go with this one, which being the more frustrating of the two. Um, this is where we're making the turn, correct? Hold on one second. I'm still looking at my achievements. One locomotive. Two locomotive. No. Uh, hmm. I think if that'll be far enough. All right, yes, that platform at the end is for the turn. But I can also make that bigger, maybe. Oh, no, I ran out of rockets. That could be a problem. I mean, I've got more on my chest. All right. <coughs> okay. That means that... Oh, wait, those don't turn. So. It might have to be throw at least one powered rail there. That's going to turn to the right. Might as well throw a power boost there since I got it. Alright. Like that? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Why do I feel like the other one is maybe five wide instead of three wide? You're talking about our demo? Yeah. That's yeah. because our demo is five wide instead of three wide. Oh, that's why I feel that way then. Okay. Yep. I figured oh, we would just add yep. in the rest when we got done. Because there's no... That's fair. We've already built up and torn it down at least once, so... Okay. So, how do I get from point A to point B? You go up. Do I go out first, or do I just start up? Uh, how much more up do we need to go? Well, I am at... Um, We're at 91 right now. Yep. Where do we need to get to? The top. Oh, I don't That's have rockets. Top. <laughs> Neither do I. Well, I didn't have it in my hotbar. Are you kidding me? 
There's some salmon down there having a little conference with each other. Mm -hmm. We need to get up to 122. One, one, yep. And our X, we need to get to 137. And where are you at there? Huh. X, Y, Z. Or Z, depending on which side of the pond you're on. I'm at 195, 91, 58, right? Okay, so from 195 to 137 means we need to come how many blocks this way? That means we need to come math blocks this way. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of math blocks. Not then, not now. Okay, and we need to come from 91 up to 122 up. Okay, so figure out your L from that. How many blocks high by how many blocks across, et cetera, et cetera, to get your oddish symmetry. One second. Yeah, I was going to go sleep while you were doing that so we didn't get attacked in the night. I figured that was important. Yeah. You, you seem to be fond of not getting attacked in the night. That is over the river, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm at block 91. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you just go get graph paper? So I'm at block 91. Okay. And what is the top block again? 122? Or is that the distance away block? Hang on. I tried to fly with a block in my hand. No, it was not a good idea. Alright, so you, are you talking about height? My or X is 195 and my Y is 91. How does this work? Okay, so you need to get your X to 137. Is that up or that across? Is towards me. Hold on one second. X is forward from where you're looking. You need to get that to what? 137. thinking of that, I am going to go feed Jubba. Sounds like a good intermission.
Okay. The puppy on the intermission screen has been fed. You might even hear it over the mic at some point. Especially as he gets to the bottom of the dish and keeps licking. You know, just in case there's one he missed. Alright, and what was the... Y? 91-2? One, two, two. Do you have the minecart? Yes, I do. Thank you. I was going to make sure that the trip back was as expected. Thus far, at least. I mean, gravity kind of makes a lot of that work anyway. that one, or you can reach that one, we can reach that one. And there we go. Nice. Still working on that symmetry. Where did the, uh... Is the redstone not with the precious? Or are you putting the dust with the ore? Ah, okay. figure it out. Okay. 
Not the most encouraging, but okay. Yeah, it might be time to redo my uh, shulker box system. Oh, I forgot to mention on stream. This is the <laughs> this is the house that Reyes built around our little hasty bamboo farm. And let's not step into the horse pit. I do like the bamboo holding up the sandstone. And I wonder, have we been close enough for this to trigger? Alright. Yeah. Despite being a simple little farm and not entirely lossless, that has been very nice. I noticed that some of the items are getting stuck on top of uh, bits of bamboo. Um, ideally, I probably would have made that one wider and put some glass panes down the center so that way when the bamboo got broken and pushed off by the pistons it would have been pushed towards the uh, towards the center and it would have fallen down the middle instead of on top of the dirt blocks but realistically I want to build something bigger than that anyway that was just to get us some bamboo to work to work with for now all right, up and down works so far, so this seems to be a pretty ideal power. I mean, I could lay off the powered rail a little bit, but where's the fun in that? Let me make sure this is right first. Ah. I thought you had already worked it out and crafted it out. Yeah, paranoia. Okay. I shall hold off. In the meantime, I will run back to my base and drop off some of this clutter. One of the things that I do want to do on here, I think I mentioned it on last week's stream or maybe the one before, but I do eventually want to move all this storage into an automated, automated sorting system over here at this spot. Um, I have found a couple of different tutorials that I'm going to try to combine together. Um, because most of the sorting systems that I've seen only let you drop one type of item into a box. And as you can see, more than a few of these, I've got more than one in each box for one reason or another. And, um, and that works out far, far better, at least in terms of compacting. Because again, there, there's a lot of the stuff that I'm not going to have a full double chest on, much less and more than one. And for those items, I'd like to actually stack two or three or something like that. And um, I want to say it was the same same guy, Cobblestone and Dirt. It might have been somebody else. Um, but they had a really nice system for putting up to five different items into the same box. So I gotta look and see what kind of space requirements I'm talking about to make some of that happen. And I might not even worry about the non-stackable stuff like this. I like that. It's fun. But I kinda hate that uh, the only way to combine items is with a grindstone now or to combine weapons and armor 
I can understand combining enchanted stuff, but maybe it's just my inner curmudgeon coming out. Missed it. Oh. <sighs> eh. Okay. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. didn't go as planned. <laughs> Alright. There we go. This is going to reach. Wait, isn't this supposed to be the center? Did it make it to the center? Or are we off Oop. by one? We're off by one. Uh huh. Okay. Both of those blocks say 57. Okay, that just means we need to put two off in that direction. Because <laughs> you're gonna build, you're gonna build at least one more in that direction anyway. So it's not like we got to get rid of those. I just got to move some of the rail back a little bit. That didn't come through. That's fair. Okay. Oh, I can't make that turn. Extra boost there or not? But I'll do it anyway. We're about to find out. Nope, 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 nope. I just put it right back where I had it. What do you mean? Uh, just. Oh. All right. I think the tired's kicking in. come back. Those need to come back. So this is going to be the one that comes down. One, two, three. And we throw that in there. That's going to be the center. Yeah. Is that the left? Oh, did you take down the blocks that were out? Oh. Yeah, why? Do you need those? Because well, I moved the rail over, but thinking we had one more on the side there. Got it down to what it should be. Yeah, which is why I thought I'd done the rail wrong again. Oh, uh, oopsie.
And for anyone wondering that this is, you know, going to totally clash with my build, it is. But there wasn't anything we could really do that would blend with everybody's build. So we went the exact opposite and went with a thing that will stick out unto itself. And as we're still relatively new with this still only being Season 0, we're also working on our build palettes and finding out what we like and what we don't. What things are pretty and what things are KDS builds. Resources? I dropped some. Oh. Gotcha. Unpowered powered rail will slow you down if I remember it. Whoa. Whoa. It's big. Mm hmm. Oh, Menomina. What? We have a couple of blocks that need to be. Actual blocks, or the bottom's gonna look dumb. Yeah, that's easy. Also, you might want to sleep since you're already down there. Okay. Do I still have the minecart on me? No, because I rode it all the way down. And I am going to move those levers to the underside of that block. I just want to make sure they're where we need them. Oh. Because I do not want to put all those on the underside only to find out they're in the wrong place or we don't have enough or we have too many. That's totally fair. All right, and this definitely has the appearance of uh, being a little unstable. So we're going to definitely want to add some stuff. Uh, switch. Yes, I missed a switch. I missed a couple of switches. All right. That's what I get for trying to adjust my inventory while mid-flight. It's a bad thing to do. Occasionally. Alright. Big train. Kept on a rolling. We... <laughs> yeah, that actually moves a lot quicker than I was expecting. Well, I mean, I threw enough power rail at it that I shouldn't be surprised. Does it move too fast since part of the goal is to get to kind of C? Uh, okay, I can reach all the buttons from here. I really should be just a little bit further along than I am. So let me swap out this one for that. And uh, while I'm at it, let me test the ride back down. So let me test the ride back down. There we go. That is a nice view, though. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I want to go left. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I 
was okay getting stuck a little bit further up. I didn't push you off, did I? Yep, good. Oh, okay. Setting the side on. I'm trying to remember how we were planning on lighting the actual like system itself. Because they can spawn on stairs or no? Um. Or because the stairs are covered with it depends. things. depends. If the stairs are placed like regular stairs, then no. If they are upside down stairs, then yes. Oh, no, sorry. I meant the regular blocks. The parts that we're using, that's regular block. Bad guys can spawn on that, but if it's covered by a rail... Uh, to the best of my knowledge, the rail... No. But the blocks in the middle... Which will be covered by glass. Yeah, yeah. The It should be spawn-proof. We'll find out some night when we least expect it. I would like to not go with that plan. No? No. Not at all. Not at all. All right. Um, hmm. Oh, let me uh, send that back into storage. All right. You can ride to and fro. Stop awesome. and go. That's what makes the world go round. I'm going to go hide some levers. If it will let me hide some levers. Oh, because that's a uh, slab, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, hmm. The middle ones can be slabs if they need to be. No, quite the opposite. I need them to not be slabs. Eh, let me see if I can make it work anyway. Because if I move the lever up one block, it should still... It'll... No, not should. It will power everything anyway. Because power travels for eight blocks in either direction. Except when it's trying to make a liar out of me. How's it doing at that? Doing quite well at that. Why? Why is that block not powered? Um, oh shoot Sound like you're thinking something What are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm confused Because I am powering this block <laughs> Well Now I'm putting down more levers than I intended to um, and That is not powering it If I put it on that side but if I put it on the top, it's fine. Which is the part that is confusing me. Unless it's because of the way levers power stuff? That doesn't make sense, because the, the lever powers the block. It would work there too. Uh, that is a slab, so I can't hide it there. I mean, I could just throw down a redstone block and.
Hmm. Works on that side, but not the other. Alright. Then let's try this. Go power. scaffolding. Doesn't like you either. Apparently. That's well, I'm like for real out of rockets. Yeah, I just tossed you half a stack. Oh, thank you. should be powering that block. It's obviously not. Alright. I just need twice as many levers. That's fine. And lots of scaffolding. two blocks of prismarine on the inside and I'm not sure if they can be there. Inside of the uh, castle thing. What do you mean? Um, My black terracotta isn't where it needs to be. I'm trying to fix it now. Are you talking about the prismarine with the torch on it? Yeah. The one with the torch on it has to be there. Okay. And it has to be the terror the um prismarine. Uh no, actually you should be able to replace that. Just put the torch back where it is. Will it show on the top though? What do you mean? No, no no no. Um Uh ooh. No, yeah, that will show on the top. Because that's where one Good of the boxes that a rail is laying on. Good as is. Back the rail that I took. Oh. Back. Yeah. So I gotta... Although I think I dropped one down the other side. Yeah, I totally did. Alright. Last powered. I got put in the wrong spot. Oh. I pushed my thing. Apparently not. That looks really off-centered with only one side done. Yeah, well, it'll, it'll get there. Can I take a guess that you picked up the rail that I dropped? 
Uh, you can take it, but I didn't. Oh, no, just because it wasn't... Oh, there it is now. Okay. Hmm, there's a creeper on my base. I gotta figure that out. I gotta figure a way to oh, make that. Oh, on your pyramid? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, for a second I thought you were talking up near the top, and I was like, oh, no. Oh, no, they spawn up there, too. Because I haven't finished building it yet. Yeah, I gotta hurry up and finish my castle so I can hit the build limit first. Don't we have, like, kind of a ways before the build limit? Uh, where is my box? Which box? My grave. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't do that to me. Okay. That one's done. That one's done. Let it put things back in the correct order. that oh no 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 what what bad guys bad oh. guys oh hey come here i need another banner just minding my own business. So what? There I was, just minding my own business. Is that all the loot? Oh, all that work and all I got was a lousy banner? That guy was trying to kill me. Yeah, I wanted a crossbow. At least a crossbow. Or, let me rephrase that. At least another crossbow. He didn't... He didn't even give me the uh, ominous thingamajig. Oh, I, probably because oh, he died I have from it. burning. Oh, no, I have it. You have it. Mm -hmm. Which means I should probably drink some milk. Yes. Although we have not actually done a full-on raid. We have not yet. We're not ready for it. Yeah. Come on. We could do it. Let's do the rail system first so that we at least also have them as watchtowers and things that we can shoot arrows from. <laughs> Where'd all those cows you saw go? I don't know. Like they're hiding now that they know I need them. Uh, and so straight down will be that corner there. Moo cow? Hello, moo cow. Seriously? I can't put scaffolding down on leaves? Fine. Ah, moo cow. That is the weirdest thing. I, it wouldn't let me put game? the... Huh? How long you been playing this game and that's the weirdest thing? Uh... Okay, that's a close contender for the weirdest thing. It's close to the weirdest thing. It's a nearly weird thing. I'm gonna thing. have to figure out a way to hide those things. What? At the bottom. Because on the mock-up, we have the pillars going... Yeah, we've got the pillars hiding the levers on the mock-up. Yes, but this puts the pillars in a really weird spot, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, no, 
that's not bad. As long as they're at the that's back of each one, I don't think it's that bad. Because it's underneath where the stairs start, which is a little bit more yeah. of the heavy-duty part. I mean, it's not perfect physics, but it's also Minecraft. Yeah. Well. Wow. Have a random lever here. Oh, or leaker, okay. depending on which. Out of the pond, you're on? Yeah. Yeah, just toss it in the cobblestone box. Or the random project box. Whichever one of those boxes by my ender chest will take it. Okay. Are you going to do every one of these on stream or are you going to work on some of these off stream? I'm probably going to work on some of these off stream too. I just wanted to get the start of it on stream. We definitely do need to. I. Yeah, because I know where the hub is going. For, I know where it's going from the hub to mine. I know where it's going from mine to the desert temple. I'll have to plan that route out. So we just gotta talk to Arcadius. We just gotta talk to Arcadius. And I gotta build one of those stations over by my base. We gotta figure out where we're gonna put your on-off on yours. Oh, I got an idea for that. Okay, because I was half tempted to either say, let's put the exit on one of the other towers. Or loop back down because there's just enough room where the redstone is to put a station under there and hide the redstone under a low ceiling. I was actually just going to put it in one of the towers. Okay. That don't exist yet, but will. Yeah. So I was going to play in a relatively close by tower. On the other side. Hey, here's one of the cows you were looking for. Yeah, I found one. They just didn't want to be found for a little bit. They weren't the cows that want to be eaten? Oh, wait, no, that was the pig that wants to be eaten. They're a lever next to me. What do you mean? Or is this section just missing? Because I think some of these are missing. No, the rail's powered. Yeah, that would make it the same. I dropped a block. Yep. I mean, they had the one good album, but, uh... Oh, I was gonna go with the Bad Winter is Coming reference. No, uh, that seems to be over, too. How well that went depends on who you ask. Although, fun trivia. There's a zombie after me. That wasn't the fun trivia, though. I was about to ask about that. Um, like, woohoo, trivia! Um, fun trivia. The directors that worked on the Game of Thrones series have been tapped for a Star Wars trilogy. So they are definitely going to be working on a trilogy for the mouse. Nobody has quite said what the trilogy is yet, although the rumor is that it's going to be a Knights of the Old Republic trilogy. How do we feel about this? Um, depends. Who is still in charge of Star Wars when they start working on it? Fair. Because it seems like a fair amount of their troubles come from the same management source. Isn't that true of most organizations that have consistent troubles? Yeah. It's either infrastructure or management. Or both, but yeah. Well, we don't need to talk about where I work. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, don't I know about that too. <laughs> This line is almost done. Oh wait, no, we still gotta lay down all that glass. Good, that'll give us an idea how quick we're gonna burn through those glass panes to do this kind of thing too. I'm not sure I really want to think about that though. I didn't. How much do you think we're gonna go through? Because this is a lot. A lot. And weren't some people making fun of me because they said I made too much glass? Uh. Yeah, I should talk to Arcadius about that. Good, you should talk to Arcadius and any of his friends who might have thought I was being obsessive and who are going to see that I wasn't as soon as they realize that we're about to run out. Yeah, I also told Arcadius that we need to go find a gravel biome and a desert to pillage. Because somebody mentioned they needed more concrete too. I always need more concrete. Yeah, I noticed that too. But, I mean, I'm about to do towers on all this, so of course I need more. Bottom, and I'm gonna go get yep. glass. There are times that the, that the scaffolding seems excessively useful. There are also times that it seems excessively frustrating. Right about now. Oh, it's sadness. leaning a little more towards useful. Do you have the glass already down or no? No. It should be in the box you last left it in. I was not planning on getting to the part that we needed the glass just yet. Well, I mean, you want to completely I like look, progress. Don't we? Uh, we're going to want to clear up some of the blocks at the corner, too. Where the rail turns the corner. The underside's looking a little Yeah, but rough. until I know which... Which and what, that's going to change a lot. That's fair. Alright. Bam. All right, let's go one, two, three. Three. I got four more to, four more switches to hide, and then this line of the rail will be done. And it is five minutes to nine. So yeah, I'll do these last four switches call it a stream and then probably work on the rail from the hub to my base between now and next week and hopefully I'll have a little more to show than just that I got some plans for the villagers that have been piling up in the carrot and potato farm because villager breeding mechanics are slightly broken um, and not the good kind of broken. Like somebody's uh, psionic characters. I know nothing of what you speak. Mm hmm Hey, you're on my team, so, you know. I'm not the one who has to worry about that. Can you have a second? I need to see how we want to do the corners if I want to do an extra layer of glass or not. To make it stream contiguously or not, or if we just want it to have a little bit to be spawn proof. Ah, uh, no, but it looks weird without it. Up, up, and away. Uh, four things of glass panes to start. Up one.
beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> so you can break it, uh... Okay. Good to know. What can't you break? Oh, no, no, no. I was breaking the scaffolding from the top down so I could slowly descend and not have to find all my stuff scattered to the winds. And uh, I was actually breaking it faster than... Uh, so fast that I was taking fall damage. Ow. Yeah, ow. Um, but anyway, yeah, I got some plans for the villagers that are piling up in the carrot and potato farm. Because, because there is only two beds, they are theoretically not supposed to be breeding. There are a lot of hearts around those theories. Oh no, I'm not even talking about the ones in the trading hall. I'm talking about the ones in my farms over, over, you see those guys, yeah, they're making the hearts but we're not overrun with villagers in there. That might have something to do with the lava, but that's completely aside from the fact. Um, over my carrot and potato farm, which was built for two villagers, I've got a village of villagers, even though they're not supposed to be. Oh, I totally misjudged that one. I need to be over just a little bit further. Is there anything here that I should be worried about? Nope. Oh. Yes, uh, uh, that's... That was... Bad. But you know this is the shortest of all the rails, right? Yeah. Uh, I am acutely aware of that fact, yes. So, we're going to have to pillage how many deserts? A lot. All of the deserts. So that's the one I did. Oh, okay. I see what you did. That work? Yeah, I wouldn't have flown up here if I'd known you were doing that, though. My bad. All right. So it oh. just to do the middle section in blue. Mm -hmm. It cost one million dollars. Sixty-four plus sixty-four. Plus 52. 
That's still not as bad as I thought. Now I need... The reason we did the white instead of the clear. Yeah, somebody thought it looked prettier. It does look prettier. And when you're sitting in a cart, you're sitting just above it anyway, right? Uh, I believe so, yes. Oh, because it picks up the tones of the white and the quartz, too. Yeah. Should make this pretty much spawnproof now, yes? I believe so. We can wait until night and find out. Find that out the hard way? Yeah. Sure, why not? Can pillagers spawn on it? Uh, can they? Technically, yes. Are they likely to? No. So if you just make your whole area, like, not spawnable, will they just spawn, like, 500 light yards away? Uh, there we go. Hmm, that is the question. That was, okay, that's not what I expected it to do. I'm doing this over water. Oops. I heard mumbles. I didn't. It's another one of those things that I really wish I could say I did intentionally, but I didn't. It just looked cool over the water. So I wonder if we have any screenshots of what it started out as, my little hut in the dirt. Um, not of that that I'm aware of, but I do have a backup of the original blank world, like before we did anything, like, hello, welcome to the world, you just spawned in. Wow, do you guys really want to see, like, all the stuff that I made you blow up? <laughs> I was planning on doing that as the introductory video, like the first produced video. I was going to go through and do a sort of survey of the worlds. It's, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff. Like, didn't that mountain go, like, all the way over to the water? Uh, we moved a lot of stuff. All right. Did I get all the levers over here? Yes. All right, all the levers are successfully hidden under the prismarine. Now for the fun part. That, testing it again, make sure yep. it still works. <laughs> Always. Check. Check one more time. Check again just to be sure. Well enough over the glass that it's not obstructive. No, it's not obstructive. Um, 
I might want to try to slow the ride down a little bit. <laughs> That's fair. That sounds very fair. Well, take a ride up yourself and... Uh... Well, I personally would want it as leisurely as possible so you have more opportunity to see things yeah. on the ground. Although, the ride down is pretty quick as well. Because gravity. Because um, if I wanted to get some more quickly, I'd just use my Elytra. Hey, I'm spawn-proofing this. Mm -hmm. I'm checking to make sure everything works. Nice. Okay. Good. It works. Eureka. Don't forget to give me my... Uh, have used prismarine rocks. I'm gonna top that off next chance I get. What the prismarine? Yeah. yeah. Rails. Another quartz. Prismarine. Nope. Come Not on. enough. One more thing of Prismarine. Of Prismarine? Or er, of er, glass, glass, sorry. Glass. Here's. Hold up. Yep, no. I was doing pretty much what you're doing. Getting the stuff out of my inventory. Extra levers there. Bed, crafting bench, stone cutter, ender chest. All right. Huzzah. Huzzah. So take a ride. So take a ride. You, uh, you already dispensed a cart. That's part of why I'm actually thinking of moving instead of the pressure plate to a button. So it takes a more intentional action. I want to go to me, so I go to that one. Oh, it needs to go way slower than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey, a wandering trader. Kill him. Kill him? Why, I've only done that a time or two. I traded with him first. I get more emeralds too. Um, the down button doesn't work. What do you mean? I'm pushing the button to take me down. It's not. Uh, it depends on where you're at. Hang on. Let me. Oh. Do we need more coral? Probably. Why? Uh, because he's I mean, selling a couple of different types of coral. Oh no, I can just farm it. <laughs> While you're up at your base, do you want to mm -hmm. sleep? Where did he go? He buggered off. This might not oh. be the safest sleeping place. Where was their spawnage? Okay. 
Interesting. Alright, the wandering trader is gone. Okay, you should come here. No, I should come take care of this patrol. Can I shoot them from up here? I don't know. How good's your aim? Oh. Where did he burn to death? Nope. Oh, creeper. Jeepers creepers. I did get a pillager's head, though. Oh. And a llama head. I was hoping for another trader head, but, you know. I don't know where he ran off to. Because the uh, wandering traders do a really interesting thing. When it turns night... They drink an invisibility potion. Oh. And then when daylight hits, they're supposed to drink a bucket of milk. So they hide at night so they don't get murdered by everything that spawns. And then they end up back uh, visible during the day. I guess he despawned or ran further than I'm willing to look. Alright. Alright, let me get back to... So, this line is going to go from here up this way over the lake and it's going to cut left and come in here. Then I put my loading station, unloading station here. I'll probably get a little more work done on that cliff too, like I did over here. And what I'm actually thinking of doing is taking all this area under the walkway on the castle. Extending this out maybe just a little bit. Yeah, maybe extend out that walkway one more blockish, and then start making trading stalls for the villagers under this walkway. Sounds fun. And then take my uh, excess villager population that I got down in the unintentional villager farm and uh, start shuffling them into useful jobs. So I will then take... I think there's more of them in there. I didn't think there could be more of them. They're going to start entity cramming. Probably. They're not even farming any carrots for me. Like, slackers, get to work. You too. Oh, you're picking up that block. Ah. Huh. Alright, you guys are actually doing work, though. Let me stash that in there. I still want to get it so that way all those farms feed down into here and drop down this shaft into these boxes here. I'll pick those up later. My only problem...
So I can't remember what the sentence was going to be. No. Um, my only problem is that i got to get the storage system finished before I can do too much with that. Okay, that works. Drop that in there. And to give you an idea how many raids I did while, uh, or how many uh, wandering patrols I took care of as I was working on the various stations, we got a fine collection of banners. <laughs> uh, I didn't measure that out right. Those are all two blocks apart. If we go one, two, three, bam. That works. Okay. And uh, with that done, I bid you all good night. Just a reminder, as I mentioned at the top of the top of the stream, I think I remember to say it at the top of the stream. I am moving the Coffee Craft starting time to 6 p.m. instead of 7. So starting next week, Tuesday, at 6 p.m. Eastern U.S. That is minus 4 UTC, at least for a little bit longer. I don't think everybody has moved over to daylight time. Uh, daylight time can go away. So it's minus 4 or minus 5 UTC, depending on daylight time and all that good fun. And uh, later this week, on Thursday, I have Games Revisited, where we're going through Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. Since we were talking about the rumor about the possible movie trilogy being made, <laughs> rooted in Knights of the Old Republic, if you want to see what all the fuss is about, or review how the game story went, come follow along with me. We've got the last four episodes up on my YouTube channel. And if you don't get a chance to watch live, all the archives are there as well. Subscribe and you'll get notified whenever I post up uh, new videos. And Friday will be the 47%, the World of Tanks stream that I do with a couple other friends. And this Friday is going to be at 7 p.m. Starting next week, I'm going to move that back to 6 p.m. as well. So they'll all be at the same starting time, and it makes things a little bit easier. So have fun. Good night.